Hi there, in this video I'm gonna talk about a question we get asked quite often. Uh, we'll have a home managed user who uh, perhaps has a previous version was using it on an older computer. Uh, that computer, perhaps the hard drive crashed or they bought a new computer and wanna move the data to the new computer. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a couple ways of doing this. Uh, one way is first copy your, let's say you did a, back, a local backup of your data. Copy the backup file, which will look, probably look something like this copy it to a USB drive. I've got it on my local USB drive here. And once you have it there, put it in the new computer. You're going to copy and paste it. I'm going to copy and paste it into the documents folder. You should paste it first onto your local hard drive. So once that is done, uh, we're going to, we've, our, we've installed Home Manager on the new computer and we run it and obviously the first time you uh, install it there's not going to be anything there uh, so what we have to do is restore the data from the backup file and to do that under the file menu there is a restore backup and first of all it's going to do a backup of what you currently have and the reason for that is uh, it, right now it's okay because there's nothing here but this back when you do a restore it replaces what you're currently looking at so we want to make sure you don't accidentally delete any data so first we do a backup And then what we're going to do is uh, select the file from the documents folder. This is the file that I copied over, click open. And what this is gonna do is it's going to, you're gonna see this progress screen. Now once it's done, it may look like nothing happened. You have to kind of refresh it. So to do that, you just click again on the main residence. Uh, or you can exit the program and come back in again. Uh, so we've basically restored the backup file from the old computer by doing the uh, restore restore backup. Now another scenario that happens quite often is we'll have a user who has the assets.mdb file. That's right here. Uh, that's the text file that can, that's actually the Microsoft Access format file. Even though it's Microsoft Access format, you do not need Microsoft Access installed on your computer. Uh, but anyway, the assets.mdb file contains all the text data you enter into the program. So sometimes that's all the user has from the previous machine. If that's the case, uh, what we're gonna do here is just copy it from the USB drive, copy it into, um, actually, uh, first of all, what we're gonna do is run home manage and from file you're going to select go to data folder and you see there there's an ldb file that means the the current data file open is locked so what you have to do is exit home manage now i copied the the, the uh, assets.mdb file and now i'm just going to rename this file here the current assets file and the reason i'm going to do that is i don't want to overwrite it until i'm sure the data transfer has uh, been successful. So I copied it previously from the USB drive. Now I'm just going to paste it into this data folder. Now I'm going to run home manage. And you see here when I run it, it imports and automatically upgrades the data file to the latest format. So anyway, hopefully that's helpful. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.